an improv actor at uh, Hatchville Bedford High School. Um, I pretty much made this video off of a completely new idea. Uh, hopefully you guys have never seen this type of video. If we could leave the spotlight on, like dimly lit, it's, uh, it's completely new. Something that you guys have probably never seen, but uh, it's hopefully it's good. So I've just entered my friend's house completely unannounced. Let's go into his room and ask for some help. <laughs> what the? Who? What? Hey friend, I need help with the video. Who the hell are you? It's time to go now. <laughs> One of the most important elements of making a successful video is matching up the audio to the scene. This is where Jared comes in. Jared, I'm gonna need you to run to that door. Jared, just run to the door. <laughs> for this clip, if you want to show a cool action scene, this type of music would not be appropriate to play. Instead, you would want to play this type of music. Notice how that is a huge difference in making the mood of the clip. Let's go to the next scene. In this segment, we're going to be talking about appropriate camera angles. These angles are not appropriate for a conversation with me and my friend Jared. Friend? I don't even know who you are. Jared, just have a normal conversation with me. How? You just walk into my house. It doesn't matter. Just have a normal conversation with me, Jared. We're trying to make this scene work. As you see, both of those angles were very inappropriate. I'll show you one more, just to make sure that you actually understand it. Come here for a second. I'm <laughs> um, shot This is just completely awful. Don't worry about it. <laughs> In these next few clips, you're going to see a montage of good actors. Slightly is your indoor shots. Maybe if you used a little bit of light on the faces, would have helped, but it didn't hurt. Okay, thank you. Just, just, just made a little better. Anyway, excellent job. <laughs> Same thing. Um, it's it's the, the just nearly completely perfect. Uh, very funny, and of course, I like the fact that you know that you're mixing you know video and, and live performance. It's it's really very good. Um, very Broadway, if you will. 
Um, also, I like the I, I like the fact that you are directly referencing the film itself and the fact that it's in a, a festival. So it, it's a movie that's very aware of its context, which is very very nice. Um, uh, the, the, the only small thing I would consider is that when you take your uh, your shots indoors, that you do um, uh, work on the lighting so that the um, so that the performers are visible to the camera. You know, so because when your actors turn toward the camera. Um, the light behind them is brighter than the light in front of them. As a consequence, it puts their face in shadow. So you, you need to consider where you put your key light and where you put your fill and your and if you do use it, your kicker or or, um, or hair light so that they can be cut out in three dimensions in the indoor space and at least that their faces are visible so that the expressions are visible as well. That's really the only thing, is just the lighting for the interior scene. Everything else is completely funny, very, very, very good. I like it a lot. Thank you very much.